Hello America, this is Mark Hill with Wilson Print Marketing, Marketing Tip of the Day. Today I want to talk to professional services, people that have practices that serve clients or patients, and I want to talk to you about the most important thing or area of your practice. And that's, this area has to do with the growth and the long-term survival of your practice. Do you know what it is? It's your existing clients, patients. In most professional practices, a lot of times you get caught up into the weeds of running your practice and you lose track of the people that you're actually working with, your customers, your patients, your clients that are your most important asset of your business. Now you need to have a marketing plan to these people. And the reason you do is because due to no fault of your own, you're going to lose people Either they're going to move away, you're going to have a competitor steal them away, or they're going to go off and try something new, or maybe, Lord forbid, that they pass away, they die. So you need a plan. So how vital is this? Well, I don't want to ask you. 80% of your businesses or your practices sales probably comes from 20% of the clients in your database, patients in your database. So I want to ask you, what would happen if you lost your top two, three, four clients in a, over a course of a period of four to six weeks. Can it happen? Yes, it can happen. Especially now in these volatile economic times that we're in, it's very easy to lose an existing client or patient to no fault of your own. So having said that, how do you market to these patients? What are some ideas, some techniques that you can use to market? Well, one, simply you can start mailing a newsletter to these people. They're very easy to create and you know we can help you target them with so they're informative but yet also entertaining. You can do email marketing to them. You send out emails, but when you're doing your email, make sure the email has to do with some sort of help or tip that you can do to help them improve their lives or, or an area of their lives. So the next thing that you can do is send them a note card. And these are handwritten thinking of you, checking in with you kind of note card that are good to pepper in throughout the course of the year. Also, birthday cards. Send them birthday cards, and you're probably doing some of this on your own, but you just need to have it in a concentrated, thought-out plan. Also, you can do an occasional phone call to them, checking in with them, have somebody in your staff or somebody call them and find out how they're doing. Just have a live conversation with these people. Surveys or opportunity surveys, when you do get in contact with them or they come into the office, just find out what they need, what's changed in their life, what's happening. This can also alert you to possible new services that you wanna educate the customer or the patient to. The next part of the program is you need to have a concerted new business, new client, new patient marketing program to attract new people. Because as we said earlier, due to no fault of your own, you're going to lose people in your practice. They're going to you know, move away, die, competitor steals them away. It's no fault of yours, right? Roughly 65 to 70 percent of your marketing budget needs to be spent or invested into reaching new prospective clients and patients. Why? Number one reason is business goes where it's invited. If you're not out there actively, consistently, regularly inviting people to do business with you, they're not going to do business to you, with you. They're not going to call. They're not going to mysteriously come in. Now, maybe you get may get some referrals here and there, but even with referrals, with a marketing program, you're going to get more referrals, especially to your, when you have the existing clients or patients that you're marketing to. Wrapping it all up, you need to market your practice. You need to have a twofold marketing approach. One, to existing customers, patients, clients. Two, to get new business, new clients, new patients. We can help you with that if you need a someone to help you with your marketing program. Because I know you're busy and you got a lot on your plate. And marketing a lot of times ends up being the afterthought, and it should be the first thing, the most important thing in your business is, is your marketing. So we can help you. We're here to help. I hope this video gave you some tips and some ideas of where you could boost your practice.